Today, we are still rolling with the big dogs of whiskey. And when you're talking about big dogs, okay, Maker's Mark comes up. So, we got the cast strength, Maker's Mark. Now, this one right here, uh, this batch comes in at 56.1% alcohol by volume, or 112.2 proof. That's smoking hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot hotter than the wild turkey we had last Friday. Now, a plain maker's mark, we got the cartoon version on this side. <laughs> this comes in at 45% alcohol by volume, or 90 proof. That's the way they sell it at the store. So they dumb this one down, bam, to make that. So this one here, dun 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 dun. This is from 2016, barrel number one. Ooh. So it's a toddler. Huh? So it's a toddler. It's a tod. No, it's not a toddler. <laughs> this right here, <laughs> the cast strength, uh, they range anywhere from 108 proof to 114 proof. Now, um, the guy, what's his name? Bill uh, Samuels Sr. He started Maker's Mark in 1953-ish. So he, the, the whiskey that he made, he actually had to present it uh, in front of somebody. I don't remember, I just read briefly read through it. But he had seven different grains to pick from. So what he did instead of making seven different barrels and aging them so he can try them he baked seven different loaves of bread and the bread he liked the most ended up in this bottle <laughs> fun fact for your brain i don't understand <laughs> what does bread have to do with whiskey <laughs> it's the grain he wanted the tastiest grain. Oh, okay. So instead of going through all the procedures and money to make and bottle and do all that, he made bread. <laughs> so like wheat? Grains. Yeah, that's wheat and corn's the only grains that I can think of. He said grains. That's all he said is grains. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he would have made seven batches of corn bread. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so this is what we're trying today. We're trying the cast strength maker's mark. Now, um, these are all hand dipped. I love their bottles because the caps remind me of like 1970s candle holders from like. Hippies. They've had the same bottles forever, and they've hand dipped their own bottles. They're handmade, hand bottled. So it's a hand job, honey. <laughs> All right, so let's get into Is that why you're so excited? <laughs> let's get into this one. It's sticky. Is it like that wax that comes on baby bell cheese? Uh, you know, maybe. I wonder if they have a cheese factory kind of close to them. Oh, a good cork. Plastic cap, though. That's kind of funky. It's dipped in wax. <laughs> it's already funky. Now, when you're trying to, to compare colors, they're pretty damn close. Dang. Dang close. Dang close. That's what I said. Pretty dang close. <laughs> what? Nothing potty mouth. First thing that hits you is oak barrel. That's that's the first bam. They have a lot of vanilla smells to them. Um, almost to a cherry, like a, a cherry vanillish smell. It smells hot. <laughs> Are you scared? Scared. Don't be scared. I won't be scared. 
Oh, it smells so good though. I'm so glad we got that. Now, the price on these, it varies just like anything else. I've seen them anywhere from about $56 up to about $120. On, online is where they seem to be the most. And they charge a hefty delivery fee too. Wait a minute, delivery fee. So your 120 bottle, a dollar bottle could be about 200 bucks. I found out that out the hard way. But you can still buy them in the store, right? Yeah, you can buy them in the store. The, a lot of people don't want to go to the store and they're all secluded and in their mom's basement and stuff. So <laughs> they just get the postman and drop it off. Wow. It's not as harsh as I thought it would be. You still get all the spices, peppery, almost like a cinnamon, maybe a, like a nutmeg flavor, because it's all up in here. <laughs> but it's not as hot as I thought it would be. You get a, the smoky barrel flavor. This one picks up a lot of the smoky flavor of the barrel. The char and the oak. The char gives, gives, gives it its color, correct? Yes, it also gives flavor. Ooh, that's good though. Now it's got a... The taste, you don't get a lot of vanilla in the taste. You get a little bit of a darker fruit, like a cherry. What? You're always tasting darker fruits. <laughs> it's the flavor profile. Um, but this is actually drinkable straight, for as hot as it is. I, I would I would have thought it was like the wild turkey. That, that shit just gotcha. That was like... But this, this is more of a timid. You get a lot of flavors, but they just don't jump out at you. The, the pepper you get up front with the spices. Um, not bad at all. Well, the second time kind of got you a little bit. What? like you forgot how to breathe there from <laughs> it's got a lot of flavors but if you don't just sip it it's a little hotter going down so it takes the breath and pushes it back down in your chest <laughs> Ooh, daddy's got a round ice cube today i look like a big dog <laughs> they're harder than you think to make i've yet to make a clear one but I'm always trying. I think you have to use distilled water or something to make a clear one. No, they said that really doesn't matter. It's how you freeze it. They got different methods I've been watching on YouTube. I just don't have that kind of time. Oop. Yeah. With that ice, it, it just dulls everything down to where you don't smell the heat, you smell the flavors. And now it's going to be much more drinkable because you get more vanilla, you get more of like a cinnamon, uh, less cherry, less of the darker You haven't drank it yet. You don't know. What I'm Guess smelling. Me. Don't make me get Oh, I will so be on that other side. <laughs> it's like when you're cooking and I'm like, what are you making? noodly stuff i just throw this and this and you know some of this that's how i cook stuff over there i take all the stuff i, I want to eat and i put it in a pile dinner <laughs> dinner <laughs> <No>. <laughs> i've never had well other than meatloaf the kids have never complained oh they've complained quite a bit <laughs> trust Not me, me. <laughs> they have to me anyways my <laughs> awesome cooking this uh The spices stand out more with the ice, which uh, I thought it would dull them down a little bit. It's it's more peppery. 
Uh, the higher, you can't really smell the vanilla a lot much more, but you can taste it more. Uh, totally different dog here. <laughs> it's probably the cool ice cube that I got now. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I, I can enjoy this a lot more with ice cube. Um, it's still a little hot, but it's not as bad as I thought it was. Because the alcohol by volume is pretty kicking. It's a uh, 56%. Mm. Do I look like Tom Cruise yet, baby? I got a round ice cube. <laughs> Honey, I'm not the one drinking. Do you think you look like Tom Cruise? <laughs> I look like Tom Cruise every night. <laughs> oh, Tom Cruise! Oh, I hear God. you say that every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might be getting a little buzzed. It's very good on the, on the ice. So neat. It's it's drinkable neat. Uh, I think it's better on ice because you pick up more of the flavors and not the heat. But that's our take on the Maker's Mark. Um, this one is actually aged for about six years, where this one would be about two to four. So it's aged a little bit longer. The longer it's aged, the smoother it gets. So it, t it takes some of the flavors down and just smooths them out. So wait, that, that big bottle is not going to be as smooth as that little bottle? No. Are you sure? I'm not drinking it tonight. That's my cartoon <laughs> bottle. <laughs> I was just trying to see if I could... I'm saving that for a rainy day. I was just trying to see if I could get you like super drunk. No, I could do that on this one. All right. Anyways, like, share, and subscribe. That's our take on the Maker's Mark. Um, so far between the Blatons, the Wild Turkey, and the Maker's Mark, the Blatons is the smoothest. I, I like the flavor on that because it's not so intense and not so hot. What about that one compared to the Wild Turkey? The wild turkey, this is more timid. It, it, the alcohol by volume is a little bit more. Where is it at? Where is it at? It's back in the back. <laughs> I don't feel like digging it out. Um, and they're from Kentucky. Wait a minute. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, and on the side it says, uh, it was approved by all these people. Their initials on the side. They were like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then they bottled it. Okay. So, <laughs> what? Nothing. You were getting ready to say where in Kentucky it's made at. Oh, oh, uh, do 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 do. Well, this says Laredo, Kentucky. Aged and bottled, Maker's Mark and Laredo, Kentucky. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's what we got for Dale. <laughs> you to try. We'll be back Wednesday for some funky beer review. What? Nothing. You're an angry drunk. I'm not a drunk. <laughs> Don't call me that. <laughs> I love you, baby. I love you too. And we will see you guys Wednesday. Yep. What are we gonna do next Friday though? Um, okay. Anyways, next I don't Friday. Know, you're doing whiskeys right now, and I don't have anything to do with that. Next Friday, we got Booker's. Um, we got the Crown Royal Bourbon Mash. Um, or we got something. We'll figure it out. We always do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to go put him in bed. <laughs> have a good weekend. Thanks.